Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy like me. Anyway, like always, I have some interesting photos to discuss today. All of them are old photos, but still very well worth discussing now. By the way, I apologize if lately I've been making videos about photos related to the occult elite. In my opinion, these photos are very useful to open people's eyes about the dark world that they consume in mass media. So, without further ado, fasten your pants, and let's get started. The fashion show by Chinese designer Hu Shigwang was all about blood sacrifice, Satanism, and mind control imagery. In short, it was an unfiltered representation of the occult elite's true face. In this pic, a masked model walking around with gigantic devil horns on her head. This model holds two dolls covered in fake blood. A sickening way of representing child sacrifice. The multiple heads on this model represent the multiple personas of MK slaves. The bunch of hands on the model equals controlled by mind control handlers. Of course, the one eye sign appeared everywhere in mass media. Emma Bunton, aka a baby spice, is not a baby anymore. And, in order to get some of that sweet mass media spotlight, she needs to conform to the agenda. In her photo shoot in Fabulous magazine, Emma wears Mickey Mouse ears, representing Mickey Mouse MK programming, and covers one eye a bunch of times, to make sure you understand the agenda. Or one eye action, to make sure you understand that this is all done on purpose. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Guardian recently did a cover story on veteran actor Dustin Hoffman, and this is the picture crowning the entire thing. In the article, he states, I was an outsider, on the periphery looking in. Not anymore. And that's what you need to do to stay in. Gwen Stefani is another veteran looking to stay relevant. Most of the pictures associated with her album feature her strategically covering one eye. Misery indeed. Wired magazine features yet another one eye sign associated with the new Star Wars. Zendaya needs to bring that one eye sign to her young fans and girls life magazine. The cover of her World Singapore features a big fat one eye sign for no particular reason. Bonus, her dress reminds us that this is all about the all seeing eye. The cover of Le Fissile Lebanon features a not so subtle one eye sign. The big fat one eye sign on the cover of Turkish magazine Zokso. This is a commercial for Maybelline. Maybe she's born with it, maybe it's an occult elite pawn. Billy Jenner posted this on Instagram a long time ago. Who hides one eye while eating breakfast? You've guessed it. Uh -huh. ass occult elite pawns. She also posted a drawing of Baphomet on that platform. For whatever reason, in the end, it is Killy Jenner, the queen of Instagram posting a drawing of Baphomet to her 275 million followers. Billy apparently gave this creepy trauma-inducing gift to Northwest, to hang in her room. Pawns are breeding a new generation of pawns. The winner of the X Factor UK, Louisa Johnson, is signaling the world that she is yet another pawn of the occult elite, ready to be exploited until people get tired of her. The cover of Sharon Needle's album is all about the one eye sign. To the unavoidable comment saying Sharon Needles is a drag queen hero who needs to be applauded at all times, I say, check out this next pic. One Eye, Inverted Cross, Occult Elite Pawn. This is the cover of French magazine Le Monde, features one big blatant creepy one eye sign. Meanwhile, Lady Gaga is still walking around somewhere doing a permanent one eye thing. The promo of the new season of BET series Being Mary Jane is also about one eye. 
The cover of Le Fissile Malaysia features the sign as well. The album cover of K-pop artist IU is replete with MK symbolism, including a big eye, Alice in Wonderland programming, a child traumatized by an evil man, a butterfly representing monarch programming, a young boy wearing fishnet stockings, mushrooms, a rainbow going over rainbow equals dissociation, a one-eyed owl, and much more. Drake's album cover is simple yet telling. It consists of the number six made of fingers. Inside is an all-seeing eye. It is a visual representation of the occult elite's hand sign representing 666. In one of his Instagram pics, Drake confirms that this is about the one eye sign. None of this is ever an accident. Here's the exact same hand sign on the cover of Code magazine. Willow Smith doing the one eye sign while modeling socks. Not an accident. Reese Witherspoon needs to do this as well in Entertainment Weekly magazine. Jazz Jennings is a 21-year-old transgender that has been getting a lot of publicity lately. In this pick for Days magazine, one eye is replaced by a patch, a confirmation of who is controlling this young person's career now. Nearly every single ad for the brand Pandora features the one eye sign. Here's a small compilation of ads. A few years ago, John Legend and Chrissy Teigen put up their Beverly Hills estate for sale, and this is an image of their home theater. For some reason, we clearly see the iconic scene from Metropolis, where Android Maria is standing in front of an inverted pentagram. As stated in previous videos, this specific scene is constantly rehashed to represent the control of Android stars, to push the agenda of the occult elite. This is a huge advertisement for the TV series Lucifer in early 2016. Lucifer is telling award nominees in the entertainment industry to thank him. It is basically the occult elite telling it like it is. In this show, Lucifer is played by a charming good-looking guy with whom viewers sympathize with. Hashtag Lucifer is coming. It is all out in the open. While Lucifer is playing on Fox, at the same time, a and &E will be broadcasting Damien, a TV series where the hero is the Antichrist. Yup. A good-looking guy with a sympathetic demeanor will realize that he's the Antichrist. This ad features an inverted cross and a somewhat unnecessary red 666. It is all about putting out in the open and normalizing the elite's symbolism. This is a character poster of the movie Alice Through the Looking Glass. As stated in several previous videos, Alice in Wonderland is thoroughly used in MK Ultra programming. The One Eye Sign on a Zoolander 2 poster. The first movie was about a brainless fashion model who was mind-controlled and programmed to kill a political figure using a trigger word. Pure MK Ultra stuff. This ad for the new TV series, The Family, features broken glass strategically cracking around one eye of the main character, a young boy that is deranged and disturbed. I wouldn't be surprised if the story ends up being full of a cult elite agenda. Following the same theme, one-eyed Chloe Grace Moritz on the cover of Complex. Biggie Azalea is doing what she can to stay in the biz, showing skin and hiding one eye. Notice that I did not mention making great music. ANC has been doing it for like a decade. She recently posted this to her 213 million Instagram followers. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.